Alright folks, how's it going? W Drums here. We are back doing some more Kingdom Hearts 3 content. So I got a great guide for you that I saw on Reddit. Um, somebody made a comment on a Reddit post and I tried it and it works. So I had to make a video to show a thorough in-depth guide on how to do this. So this trick is going to involve the Moogle Shop and the Twilight Town um, postcard dispenser. Alright? So... First off, this trick is going to allow you to get some incredible, incredible items. So let's find them. Let me see here. Actually, I think I have them equipped. That yep. So, you can get the Lucky Ring from this, which grants a slight boost in strength, magic, and maximum AP, but it gives you the Lucky Strike ability, which is a must-have because that's also on the um, Toy Story Keyblade, which gives you Lucky Strike as well, so when you kill an enemy, you have a higher chance of good... Um, items dropping. Then we have the Gourmand's Ring. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Grants slight boost in strength, magic, and maximum AP. However, it gives you Harvester and Chef Extraordinaire. This is going to help tremendously. We're trying to get those excellence for the Chef challenges. And also, you're going to get more materials from when you harvest um, the materials in the land and stuff in the worlds. So, two of these are must haves that you can get from this method and finally there it is okay so for whatever reason it shows up in the moogle thing so the oracallum plus all the way to the right bottom right that is what you can also get from this method so now the way this works is that you just buy either a potion I was doing the potion for a while, but then I read you can actually do it with Pansia, even saves you 20 bucks. It really depends how rich you are. I recommend doing this method when you have a little bit of money. So what we're going to do, we buy it, and we leave the shop. Ah! Right there. So the odds of getting a postcard from doing this method, it tends to be about every one to three tries. It can sometimes go up to five or six. That's a little rare, though. So once you get it, you just want to milk this and do this over and over for, I don't know, maybe five, ten minutes. Look at that. Got another one. This is crazy how fast this works. Like, it's disturbing how fast this works. And I actually did it for a while using the potions. So, see, there's the first try. Second try. Sometimes it takes a while. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. See? Sometimes it does take a little longer. So, basically you're going to do that over and over and over, right? Then you're going to go to your items. Go all the way down. And you got these postcards. I got 21 of them. Like, I'm rolling in the box right now. I'd like to get four more real quick to do this, but let me do that real quick. Alright, now we need three more. Also, make sure if you do it with the potions, make sure you're not at like 99 or something like that. You gotta delete some. Just make sure you're not maxing them out because then you can't obtain any more. So, friendly little tip here that'll help you tremendously. I think we need what, two more? Dude, we're just slaying. Like, look at this. It's been like, what, two minutes maybe, if that, doing this? It's crazy. I don't know who found this out on um, Reddit, but all the credit <laughs> rhymes goes to you, 100%. I'm just the messenger passing along this wisdom, and I thank you tremendously, and hopefully this will help the community a lot. All right, how many do we have now? 25, all right, perfect. So. What you're going to do then is you want to save, okay? Very, very important because the reason why we're doing this is because... So now, let's say we deliver our postcards and we did like 10 of them, right? And we got all garbage and we're just like fed up with this. You can just reset your game and it'll take you right back here to your save point. And you will have all 25 or whatever amount of your postcards still remaining. So it's a really sweet trick. 
And I literally did this, and I have the footage that's going to be shown in a second, where I did this and I collected 20 in a row. On my fifth try, I had the Gourmand, the Gourmet or whatever, I think that's how you pronounce it, ring. The Lucky Ring, and I got the Aura Callum Plus. I kid you not, in like within five, six tries total of all those 20. So then, you just go over here, you know, put your postcard in there, and see what goodies you get. Lightning Shards, okay. Ether. See, right now we're getting garbage. The cool thing is, I noticed, is that it seems to constantly vary, so it doesn't seem like you really get duplicates, and you will not get a duplicate for the Lucky Strike Ring, or the uh, Oracallum Plus or the Gorman Ring. It, let me know in the comments how to pronounce it. I probably feel ignorant saying that because I'm not, I don't speak French or Italian or whatever the heck it is. So <laughs> forgive my American ignorance, but I have no clue. So as you can see, I've gotten complete garbage. So you don't want to save that because that's all garbage as I just said. But because of how easy the trick is, it's really not hard. But yeah, so if we wanted to, we could reset the game. Close the application. And open it back up. Alright. So now we're back here. Exactly where I said we'd be. Go to items. Look at that. I got my 25 postcards back. So you can rinse and repeat that. It's a really, really nice trick to do. It's very easy to get more of them as well. But like I said, just make sure you have some money. And... Like, let's say you're really getting low, or you're getting too many Panseas or whatever, you just want to get rid of them, just go down here, and just sell them. And I got ten of them, get rid of them, boom. Made my money back, you know? Boom. So, now I'm going to show you the footage of when I got the Lucky Ring, the Gorman Ring, and the Aura Callum Plus. So, enjoy. And I hope this content helped you. Sweet. Oh, baby, Yuri Callum Plus. Woo!